Concept Mapping In this module you will learn what a concept map is and how to create one for your research. What is a concept map? A concept map is a good way to begin the research process. It can help you to graphically represent and organize ideas and show how they are related to each other. The concept map will help you translate your ideas into a manageable topic and generate questions to focus on in your research. Research is a creative process involving both analysis, in which you take things apart, and synthesis, in which you put things together. Creating a concept map is a visual way of analyzing your topic. And after it is completed, it will help you to both synthesize a research question and give you the search terms to pursue it. Why use a concept map? A concept map can help you organize ideas and define a topic, develop keywords and synonyms, reveal patterns and themes between ideas, and generate search terms for your research. In our example, we will use the topic of vegetarianism to illustrate how to create a concept map. I'll begin by writing it down and then drawing a circle around it to illustrate that this is the main topic. Next, I will begin brainstorming ideas for the topic of vegetarianism. I'll begin with related subtopics, such as varieties of vegetarianism, ethics and diet, health benefits and concerns, the environment and diet, religion and diet, and demographics. The point of this first step is to identify issues that are related to my main topic, which I will represent with lines in the concept map. A good way to find related topics is by using an encyclopedia such as the many that the library has available online, or even Wikipedia. I now want to delve deeper and identify examples or related ideas to my subtopics. For instance, ethics and diet is a subtopic of vegetarianism, and animal treatment is an important example of it. Continuing to do this for all of my new subtopics, I now have an extended list of concepts to explore. We may not use all the information that we write down, but this approach lets us easily see the various relationships among our possible topics. Using the concept map to find information. Review the concept map to identify relationships between concepts and to see if all the pieces fit together or if anything is missing. Not completed. Consider the concept map's many connections. Each is a dynamic relationship that may change according to point of view, current events, and many other variables. Exploring these relationships and what dependencies there are between each is a good way to generate a list of research questions for our topic and to identify keywords and synonyms useful for our research. In summary, now you should know how to use a concept map to help you translate your ideas into a manageable topic and generate questions to focus on in your research.